Hey, what are we doing today, Lila? Today, I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal and doing it. And showing you some tips. Telling you some tips. Cool. Why did you want to start doing bullet journal? Well, first I saw it on TikTok, and then I want to do it. But it's also a New Year's resolution. I want to do a bullet journal, like, every day of the entire year. Which is a big thing for me. I don't usually go through things. This one so far I've gone through with everything. You mean follow through? Follow through. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the beginning of my bullet journal. These are the first two pages. Uh, well, this one has a little quote, and I just copied it off of somebody's that they did because I didn't know what I was doing. So it says, the best time for new beginnings is now. And it has some cool colors. And then we have like this paint rollers thing with, and it says, hello 2022. I almost said 2021. <laughs> and then it moves on to this. Right here we have our index. It has all the months. You'll do this after. I also have this just as a key to look back for all my colors for my different areas and sections of my bullet journal. When did you put together all these pages? Uh, like, is that like is everything all done? Yeah, everything is all done. I kind of learned I shouldn't do that. Most people do their like first like yearly one, the yearly ones, and the January one, and then that's it. They wait till like the middle of January or the end of January to do February. Some January got a mood tracker, weather tracker, sleep tracker. I call it this what did I do today, slash my habit tracker. So it, it's supposed to be called habit tracker, but I didn't know that at the time. So I just called it, what did I do today? As I was going along, I learned that um, things, different things are called different things. What? Right. Different parts of the book, like this is called a habit tracker, not what did I do today. So it kind of makes sense. I mean, it is yeah, what you did. Yeah, it is what I did. Because what do you have on here? I have go outside, take Peach on a walk, work out, drink water, brush your teeth, and water pick. As you can see, it's very scattered. I didn't know how to fit it right on the pages. So then how did you make it better? Um, I made it better by, like, I did do some that were like this, more like this, but this is, like, more. And I have, like, homework and brush hair so it has all the other things but so it you kind of added, added to... more because i didn't know i should have had those at the time until i made these ones so how do you know more what pages. to put on there um just like the things that i mostly do every day like brush my teeth do my water pick like brush my hair um do my homework and then the other things that are on there like going outside. I usually go outside every day, so I decided to add the things that I usually do daily, but I might not do them. Just depends. So I did all these ahead of time, and it took me about a month, maybe. No. Maybe less. To do the whole thing? To do the whole thing, yeah. So you did each month each and, and put every stuff on there? Each and yeah. What is this? Well, this is a countdown because... Dad finally let me get a puppy at some point next year in summer, so this year in summer, and I'm really excited. So I made a countdown in the back of my bullet journal. has all the days and patterns with the bones. And what do you do with that? And I take this stamp. Here, I'll go. There we go. I'll take this stamp. have stamp colors. Open it, and then I take... The stamp, and we homemade this one because we couldn't find one. Let me see. It's a dog bone, so not dog you bone. You cut a dog that paw. out and made it yourself. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, and then you just take it, put it in, and then put it over the day that you're at. It's January seventh, so I marked that day off. So that means there's 134 days left to go until I get to start looking for my puppy. Not okay. exactly get my puppy. Okay. But it's just a countdown. You can add like any of those sorts of things to your bullet journal. After you've after you've made this bullet journal, what are your tips to other people? Um, let me go look to in my notes. Uh, you should always leave a notes page. Like once you finish your bullet journal, add a notes page for your next bullet journal. So what you want to do for the next time? Yeah. So right here. So you've notes for future bullet journal, and I have like add different other moods, like annoyed, 
You want to add that as a mood? You don't have annoyed? No. Okay. And like tired and crafty. And then add extra pages. I said that. And then like add a calendar for each month. I think it would be a great idea for you to add an extra calendar because even though you have maybe the one that's on your wall or something and you mark it off every day, it might be easier to go and look at it. Maybe you have like a thing for school or something, like a book club, like I do. Like appointments. Like appointments, yeah, like a dentist appointment or okay. something. So, and then you'd add, I want to add a bookshelf so I can write down what books I read that year. And then I have other notes like make my mood tracker more artistic like not just squares and looks like other like maybe a cat and then it has all the points in it and then whatever my mood was that day i would make it a color so a little more creative creative yeah okay one main thing would be do not do your whole bullet journal ahead of time because who knows i might want to add these so i add them in the other months, but like in February, I add, I, I'd add these, not like in next year's bullet journal. Okay. So, yeah, do it not ahead of time. So what kind of mistakes did you make while you were making this? Uh, let's, other than doing it all at once. Yeah. Okay, what um, other things do, 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 do. Do? Let's see. Well, here's one of them. In March, make sure you try to get your pages because I had to glue these pages together because I skipped pages. So I had to glue them together. And also, you can see right here, there's other mistakes. I used whiteout. That was not a great idea. You should get some paper and like some sticky like glue tape and then stick it down. I did not have that at the time. And I still don't have that, but we're going to get that. So how do you know all these tips and tricks? Uh, I've been watching like two different... Um, bullet journal people that do bullet journal what channels are they uh amanda h lee and riley Otto. they're really good they both have their own website that sell bullet journals so they can ask they you can ask them for a certain bullet journal i think is really cool but i don't i want to make my own i got this one just off of amazon it came with a bunch of other stuff like washi tape um i like that it has a folder you can hold a bunch of things well, what's in the cat it? doing here i don't know she likes to watch you do your bullet journal. <laughs> she likes me do, likes watching me do a lot of things. But there's a pocket for like all like extra photos maybe you have or something for it. And then always have extra pages. Like I use these extra pages just to test out my new markers. I like these two. Like some bullet journals only have one of these. But like if you have two points where you want to get to your thing. Like this one is for my count countdown to my getting looking for my puppy so I have one for that and then I have one for January what do you have to do today well I have to fill out my mood tracker I already filled out my weather tracker I realize I like doing it like when maybe when I get back from school or in the morning I like to ask Alexa what the temp what the highest temperature is going to be because I don't want it to be like the lowest temperature or the temperature that I'm checking at is. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like the highest temperature. So that's what you're tracking here. Yeah. So what was the first day of January? Uh, the first day was like ten. A little more than ten. Maybe a little 11. more than ten, maybe eleven. Yeah. And then I have my mood tracker. Like the first day, I was happy, only a little bit happy though, and stressed think yep and then mad and then most of the other days are just green and um purple which is green is for bored and purple is for happy so you're usually bored i'm and usually happy. bored and happy yeah that's kinda what it's... i was a little tiny bit mad at school today i was annoyed at school but that's not on here i put that in my notes annoyed i don't want annoyed though and then fill it in don't use Sharpies. Not a good idea. I realized that the first few days. So this is Sharpie. And these are my brush tip markers that I'm now using. But this is the Sharpie. It bled through. Oh. That I don't want. Like it bled through right here too when I was using it. So don't use Sharpies. I wouldn't recommend Sharpies. And then I add green. Those are my things. So bored, mad, and happy. Bored, mad, and happy. Okay. And then I already did my weather tracker today. It was up to like 50, which was great. It's a nice day. Yes. 
And right. then, next, we have my sleep tracker. I already filled that uh, out this morning. What happened morning. up here? Oh, I needed to use whiteout because I um, Oh, you whited some did. stuff out? And it's really hard to write on whiteout. Did not realize that until when I started doing it. Okay, so this is when you woke up. This is when I woke up. I use a, so this key that I have here actually says, for my weather tracker, I use this color blue. And like for my sleep tracker, I'll use orange, habit tracker green, and how many steps I had is like a tealish. In that, I woke up at like 7.48, which was not good. Yeah, that was, we almost missed. <laughs> we almost missed school. The, the beginning of time. school. <laughs> but that's okay, we didn't. That was a dog. That was a dog. And then I only, I have to do this one the next day. So I fell, I went to bed yesterday at like three in the morning. Oopsies. Dang. Okay, what did I do today <laughs> slash my habit track? Okay, what? Since I go outside and, at school time, I count that as my outside time because I'm outside like, right. for like 10 minutes. So that's an outside. And then this is my color that I decided I was going to use. And then. That's like, that's saying if you did it, you just kind of shaded it. If you did it, you shaded it. If you don't, if you do, don't it, you do it, you put an X on it. So Peach doesn't get very many walks. <laughs> she, it's cold outside. <laughs> it snowed. And like, I mean, I still could take her on a walk, but like. You are it's lazy. Cold. I don't want to. You didn't do a workout today? No. And I can't do it after my bullet journal time. I feel like, unless it's these two, because I don't do my, don't brush my teeth in, in water pick at 8, 8, 8 p.m., mm. which is when my alarm goes off. I have an alarm so I don't forget. And then, go to the next page, and this is how many steps. Now, the only reason I know how to do that is because I go here, 4,523. So, my color is, um, which color do you think? This one, so this one, and then. Does that depend on what day it is or what? What day, like the color? What color you use? No, I made this like with the key that I have. That one's my one. Oh, okay. That one's my marker. That I used to do it like. But they're this. all different. Yeah, so far I just now made the key. Oh, you just that's <laughs> so, something new you added. Yes. Okay. Okay. So you can always add it if there's space for okay. it. Okay. So that's what I did. So if I only got 4,000 steps, I have to go up here, look at seven, see one, two, three, four, five, six, make sure it's six, and then go up here. And seven is around this mark. Let's go back here and then go up to 4,000, like right there. Wow, how did you get almost, what day was that? Seven. Why'd you get so many that day? Wait, today's seven is four thousand, and this day is nine thousand. Yeah, it's nine thousand. How many? What day was that? That was the fourth. That was the first day of school. <laughs> I was kind of walking a lot more than I usually do, yeah. and I think I, on the fourth, I think I might have taken Peach on a walk. Yes, I did. I took Peach on a walk. How can you tell? That helped because go back to my habit tracker. Take Peach on a walk. Number four. Yep, that definitely gives you more steps. Definitely. That gets you more steps. That and gets you outside. I that gets you kind of a workout. Oh, yeah. And like, that's like, that's like four, four stuff. Four. If you just take steps. Peach on a walk. Right? I might take Peach on a walk more. <laughs> just a little more. Okay, and then this is learn something new. It's really nice to have some sort of pen. Did you learn anything new today? Um. I learned how to be a sun. No, I kind of learned how the uh, sun moves in the winter, spring, and uh, and uh, summer. Oh, okay. I learned how the sun moved in the winter, spring, and summer. So what comes after that? Uh, after that, there is February! So that's all you do for each day, is you just mm, go through those things? Yeah, pretty cool. much. I mean, some of them there's more, but for right now, this month, there's not more. By doing journaling, what do you think you've learned so far in the first week? Um, that it's fun. It's not hard to do. I remember to do it. Like, it's a, 
thing that I do every day. I haven't forgotten it once or anything, so it's easy and to do. And then by having something like this, what can that help you do? That can help you get better. This can help me get better at taking her on a walk like every day and like getting going outside and working out and drinking water. Because if you look down here, like on this one, and you see... This Water one I've pit. done every day. This one I just haven't done one day. Okay, so but then if you It's look... helped me for sure. This has helped me so much more with these. Like way more. I have look at that. All seven well not seven yet, but like all six except for the one on water pick are done. Which I don't usually do that much water pick. I'm like on it, off it, off it, off it, off it, on it, off it, off it. So and then now brushing my teeth, sometimes I forget it. Not with this. This helps you stay on track. Yeah. It's got to help you stay on track with on mood like, tracker all of these. or not habit tracker. Track. Habit tracker. So but it keeps you on that good track. Yeah. That's cool. What's this about? Oh, that's just a Lego set that I got for Christmas. Awesome. So, thanks for watching. Tune in next time and we'll see you there. Oh, we'll see you on another bullet journal. Next Peace. week on Friday. Should we do them regularly? Yeah, you wanna, Fridays. We do like videos. Stay tuned us? on Fridays. Fridays? We'll Fridays. upload them on Fridays? Yeah. All right. Shoot it and upload the same day, huh? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs>